We have acted on this scale before, and we must do it again. We need massive renewable energy deployment, wind, solar, offshore wind, storage batteries for renewable electricity. Our energy future will not be found in the dark of a mine, but in the light of the sun. Energy efficiency, smart power grids, clean and affordable public transit, clean cars and manufacturing, and working with key industries to eliminate pollution. Today, we are putting forward a set of principles, not prescriptions, that will require leveraging new financing, providing new resources, and training and using existing laws and new regulations to meet our 10-year goal. And the greatest climate denier of them all is in the White House, Donald Trump, a president who did not utter the words climate change or clean energy during his State of the Union two nights ago. On the most important issue facing this country, his State of the Union, Donald Trump's State of the Union was silent. This is so incredible. This is such a major watershed moment. And I am so incredibly excited that we are going to transition this country into the future and we are not going to be dragged behind by our past. No, I think it is a green dream. And I think that uh, it is. It is. And, and I think that, uh, that all great all great, uh, all great American programs, everything from the Great Society to the New Deal started with a vision for our future. And I don't think that, um, you know, I don't consider that to be a dismissive term. I think it's a great term. <laughs> this is now a voting issue across the country. The green generation has risen up and they are saying that they want this issue solved. And they want the people who work in this building and occupy the White House to solve this problem. So this is going to enter the 2020 election cycle as the, one of the top two or three issues for every candidate on both sides for them to have to answer.